expanse, critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific. Welcome to Sea World's Orb Encounter. My name is Ariane, and I'm honored to introduce you to this intriguing and majestic Hi, Josh. Hi, babe. Hello. 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 We hope that this book encounter will help give you a better understanding of this amazing animal and all that they represent. An ecotype describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Killer whales truly are a natural wonder, and we're going to have our whales help me show you physical characteristics. It's actually located in front of that white patch, camouflage from thrashing prey. The fin on top of the orca's back is called a dorsal fin, and this is used mainly to stabilize them as they swim. It is also used to help them thermoregulate.
The flippers on either side of the male's body are called pectoral flippers. And these are used mainly for steering and stopping. They also have five lonely digits in them, just like the human hand. And the lobes on either side of the whale's tail are called flukes. Now this is the engine of the killer whale. It can propel them through the water up to 30 miles an hour, which is as fast as our speedboats. And killer whales use the most power and swim the fastest. So to communicate with each other. A pectoral slap is used at the surface of the water to communicate dominance, but also to get notice. For example, a mother may use a pectoral slap to get her calf's attention. But when they really want to be heard, they breathe. is also used as a form of coordination as well as helping killer whales get better oriented to their environment. <laughs> are also used as a form of communication for killer whales at SeaWorld and in the wild. Thank you. 
to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail tubes, making for an easy meal. Riding in the wake of a boat 
and away. Abi udah kabut dari. Bahasa itu, grabi. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to slow it down a little bit for you and introduce you to one of the whales of our pod. Everyone give a huge round of applause for Corky. 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 He is one of our oldest whales. She is 56 years old, you guys. Now with that, you can see her flying above the water and some of her awesome behaviors. One of my favorites is called her B spin, where she spins like a horseshoe straight into the air. We challenge our whales every single day to learn new things to engage and stimulate their minds. Diet, exercise, and of course play go hand in hand to keep them in amazing shape. <laughs> the whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. 
further research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. Whoa! If we work together, like the killer whale, Whoa! we can the future of the Osinus <laughs> and this beautiful planet that we all share. Thank you so much for visiting us here today at Working Town. Thank you. We hope that this has helped you get a greater appreciation for these amazing animals. Have an awesome day at SeaWorld, everyone. See you yeah. later. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.